guys, this is going to be a quick video. Uh, for those who hear people talk about uh, pretty multiple Rite Aid coupons and, uh, you know, added with regular manufacturer coupons, this is, I'm just going to do an easy tutorial how to print them uh, using the private browsing. Now, I'm on Facebook's, Rite, Rite Aid's Facebook page. You go ahead and whatever coupons you're wanting to look at, you know, the different exclusives that they have, you will go ahead and click coupons. It will prompt you to the next page, which is this page. Uh, this is just for a different product. I just I just have multiple pages opened up. You usually go into here, highlight. I usually copy it. Go. I use just regular Internet uh, Explorer browser. I would go ahead and uh, right now this is popped up, which is the Facebook page uh, for that product. You go into the tools. It won't show like this. It's just going to have your regular Internet Explorer browser page on here. It's just I'm doing this just because, okay, let me just, my regular homepage is the coupons.com webpage. So you would just hit tools. It's going to take a, it's going to take a minute. So I got a bunch of uh, pages open right now. You want to hit tools, hit tools, come on. Anyway, you're going to hit tools and you're going to go into private browsing. A new page is going to pop up where it says private browsing. Let's do this one more time. Okay. Cancel. Okay, you're going to go into tools. You go into private browsing. A new page is going to pop up saying it's private browsing. And you're going to see right there on the left hand side it's going to say private browsing under the, uh, the home button paste and pretty much what you pasted for the previous uh, page which is the Rite Aid exclusive page. You would then go ahead and print out email, put in an email, you should have multiple emails to use. Go ahead and click next and then the it will show the actual printable coupon which looks similar to this. So I did one for this uh, Breathe Right that we have for this coming week. Uh, I would go ahead and print it out and then you want to exit out of this page completely and then go back into your regular Internet Explorer, click tools, go back into private browsing and do the page all over again. You need to get out of it completely before you go back in it and try to print it out a second time and use a different, uh, using a different uh, email address. And then here you would go ahead and do it over again. Use a different email address, click off of it. And then you can use the multiple coupons when you go into coupon uh, when you go into Rite Aid. You can also use this on some other different kind of coupons. On the coupons.com web page, you can't do it on private browsing. It will ask you to uh, install their program, which actually counts the amount of times that you're actually printing coupons per computer. So you can't do it on private browsing because uh, they will prompt them to do that. There are also other coupons out there that will allow you to go into private browsing and then print out multiple times uh, each time. So as long as it's not on coupons.com or redplum.com or uh, smartsource.com, then uh, there might be other ways if you're printing out coupons on a certain web page, then you can do it on private browsing and print it out multiple times. This is just an easy way for those who, you know, hear about it all the time and people talking about it, like Pinching Pennies with Priscilla. She talks when you're, you know, uh, adding uh, Rite Aid coupons attached to manufacturer coupons to try to get things really, really cheap at your store. Uh, also, Michelle's Frugal Living talks about it all the time, using using multiple uh, multiple uh, Rite Aid coupons that are on either their Facebook page or uh, some other Rite Aid page of some kind. So I just wanted to share that quickly with you guys. If you have any questions, please leave it down below. There is also a way of doing it on uh uh, Firefox. I haven't done it on Firefox in a long time, so I kind of stay away from it because my Firefox wasn't working for the longest time, uh, and I just got it. In, I deleted it and actually installed it back into my computer now. But I'm I usually don't use it very often, so I am just showing you on Internet Explorer. So I'll leave it there, guys. If you guys have any questions, like I said, just leave it down below. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye bye.